Hi there. Welcome to the Farmer's Cupboard. Today I'm going to show you how we collect our backyard maple and walnut sap and boil it all down and then how we turn it into delicious maple and walnut syrup. The deer are in the orchard next door. There's still snow on the ground, but it is the perfect temperature to collect sap. The days are quickly warming up, but the nights are still cold. We're going to use our cordless 20 volt DeWalt drill. And we're going to use a bit that is the same size of the tree tap we will be using. That's important. So to start, find a spot on your tree facing the sun. Drill slightly upright into the tree. We are tapping several trees today. These are black walnuts to start, but you will see walnut and maple trees throughout the video. Look, this one's already got oh, sap. Oh, get out already. of here. You'll know if it's the right time of year if you instantly see sap running after you drill the hole. Now we are going to fit our tap or our spile Hold into back. the hole we drilled. Use something to tap it into place. It should be a snug fit. Other kinds of sap collecting devices might look like a rubber tube coming down from the spile or the tap down to a bucket on the ground. We've done this as well and find both methods work well. It should look something like this when you're done. With these spiles or taps though, the hook underneath them is for the buckets which hang off of them. The lid goes loosely on top just to keep debris from falling into the bucket. And here comes our first drip. Let's tap some more trees. Okay, you guys make sure you don't touch these buckets, okay? Okay, you can tell from the snow melting now that we went into some pretty warm spring temperatures really quickly. And look how much these trees are producing. We will get anywhere from one to two buckets off of a tap per day if this weather stays warm like this during the day and keeps going below freezing at night. We collect the sap daily and keep it stored in food safe containers in a cold space until it's time to boil. Look how clear that sap is, it's gorgeous.
The neighbors said we could tap their trees too, so we'll be sure to bring them all some syrup when we're done. We've collected quite a bit of sap now, and the window of fluctuating day and night temperatures is coming to an end, so we are getting ready to start the boil. Now you could technically do this in your house, but it has to boil for so long that your walls would be totally dripping. What we do is take the grill off of our barbecue, or we use a propane cooktop table, and we get a ridiculously huge stainless steel pot. If I can find the one that we used, I'll link it below with the right size. The foam at the top is normal. We will discard that at the end. As the sap boils down, the water evaporates and it turns this beautiful golden color. It takes a very long time to boil sap down like this. And this time here, we went right into the night with this batch. And here it is the next morning, cooled. Beautiful, isn't it? I decided to bring it in for one final boil inside the house on our stove. And because we're beekeepers, we had to check the sugar content of the syrup batch with our refractometer, which we normally use to check our honey. Of course, I'll link all of these supplies that I use in this video to Amazon. There we go. That's better. Can, we, can I see into there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it's possible to. Okay. It is. Put it right up against it. Down. Right there. So, so how do you know where it is? It's at, it's the blue line. Oh, hang on. Blue line, I don't see now the blue line. Yeah, you see the, there's orange and then blue. So oh, yeah. it's 71. Whoa. 71 bricks per cent. And it's 27% water. Hmm. How do you know it's 27% water? Can I see it again? Okay, no. see the 27% on the right hand side? That's your water percentage. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's 27% water and it's about... Gotta, 71. Push it. And that's it. We just mason jar ours and keep them in the refrigerator. And if you're a supporter of small backyard hobby farmers like us, please give us a like and a subscribe or leave us any questions or comments and um, I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon.